our next guest can do it all. You know Alison Brie from her breakout role as Trudy Campbell in the hit series Mad Men. And she's gone on to play so many characters, including Ruth in the Netflix drama Glow. Now Alison is starring in the anthology series Roar, a dark comedy that tells stories through the eyes of eight women. Alison plays a ghost who goes on the hunt to solve her own murder. Patrol just dropped this off. They're sitting on a car about half a mile away, registered to a... Rebecca Moss. Rebecca Moss. That's me! Wow, that's her. Can we take a minute to acknowledge the real tragedy here? I was clearly in my prime. You think IDing a dead girl is funny? No, no. It's just, who gets a blowout and contours their face before a trip to the DMV? I mean, well, <laughs> Allison, good morning. Good morning. So as Al just mentioned, this is an anthology series. And I was just reading, I mean, it features some other pretty big names, Nicole Kidman, Issa Rae, Cynthia Erivo, to name a few. So tell us about yours, though, your specific episode of Roar. Well, the cool thing is that it spans a lot of different genres. So there's a horror episode, there's a Western episode. My episode is sort of a take on the classic detective show genre, but seen through the eyes of the woman who is murdered. Uh, each episode is a little bit surreal, a little magical, and also comedic, which yeah. we were just yes. discussing. They're all a little bit funny, so don't worry. So, so what are the <laughs> challenges of playing a ghost? I mean, because you're, you're, you're with the actors physically, you're, you're co-stars, but they can't react to you. Yes, it took us a little time to figure out kind of how we were going to do it through trial and error on set, and eventually they were like, Allison, just say your lines while the guys are playing out the scene, and oh, wow. nobody look at her or acknowledge her. I definitely felt like I related to my character. <laughs> oh, right. Right. It's so I just, awkward. I just have friends. My friends were like, do you have good chemistry with the other actors? And I was like, well, it's hard to tell because the character's a ghost. That's yeah. funny. Everyone ignores me. Yeah, they're specifically ignoring you. Yeah, yeah. they're really, yeah. yeah. It was interesting. <laughs> Dave Franco, your husband. Yes. Um, I, I wonder sometimes, like, if you're married to another actor, do you run lines together with them nah. sometimes? Or do you keep church and state separate? You know, well, we have two different Great schools picture. of thought on it. Aww. Uh -huh. So cute. Him. <laughs> he does not like to run lines, and I do like to. Oh. So we've had a couple times where we're shooting movies together that we're acting in together, and, you know, we're, like, about to fall asleep, and I'm like, run lines with me. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no! I pick the worst time. In his defense, yeah. I pick the right. worst times. There are rules. But, yeah. yeah. And I'm like the ghost trying to run my lines, and he's ignoring me. Good practice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking of your characters in Mad Men and in Glow. I mean, the costumes were epic, and you've been outspoken yes. on Twitter about equity and pay for costume designers. Why is that yes. so important to you? Well, Beth Morgan, who was our costume designer on Roar and also on Glow, brought to my my attention that there's a large pay disparity when it comes to costume design and I guess it just shocked me because it's such an important part of what we do mm -hmm. and truly I mean I think about working on glow and Beth was designing 15 different looks for 15 different women and we had wrestling looks we had regular character looks like it really it, it speaks to who the characters mm -hmm. are absolutely yeah so I mean it's only right I right think. of course uh, Allison can you believe it's been 15 years since the original release of Mad Men? I can't, and I haven't aged a day. <laughs> not, not at all. You really haven't. Not at all. You're the only one. And, and here, uh, John Hamm has said he hopes there is no reboot. Uh, are you in that same camp? I think I am, yeah. It's this so it's hard to, to do a reboot. You it's a, You know, Only you're sort of trying to please so many people. Yeah. Every yeah. fan yeah. took something different from the show. and It was magic. It, it was, was such a great show. Yeah. It existed perfectly. I think no reboot, just rewatch. Like, yes. Oh, yeah. There you go. I was there just saying go. my mom just started Mad Men, so she's, oh. like, getting to appreciate it for the first time. I'm so jealous. It's Fantastic. fun. That you could fun. binge it now. Yeah. There you go. Like, there you the go. Allison Marie, well, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. And is out April 15th on Apple TV Plus. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.